This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, everyone before last night agreed that the elections yesterday were a referendum on Donald Trump, his hate, his dangerous ideologies, and his unhinged approach to governance. Everyone agreed on that point before last night. And now that Democrats served up a crushing blow to candidates who leaned hard into Donald Trump, Republicans across the country are licking their wounds and changing the narrative, saying they all knew all along it wouldn't be a good night for them. <laughs> In fact, Donald Trump was over the top with it, as always. Look at this embarrassing progression. Early, the day of the election, Donald Trump tweets telling all his loyal minions in Virginia to get out there and vote for his candidate, Ed Gillespie, trying to whip up fear about gang violence and crime. Well, Ed Gillespie proceeds to lose big league by nearly 10 points, and in a classic, if Ed wins, I get credit, but if he loses, he gets the blame, out marches Donald Trump with this tweet, blaming Gillespie for not embracing him enough. And then early this morning, as if nobody's going to recognize what a transparent goon he is, he practically snaps off his legs in some sort of time travel pivot, thanking everyone for his electoral college victory from a year ago. And for some reason, he's still calling it a landslide, even though his win is near the bottom of the damn list. As Donald Trump would say, sad. <laughs> Look, last night was a referendum, and a battle was won to stem the tide of Donald Trumpism. We are almost a year into this bizarro accident that is Donald Trump's presidency, and people, even those who unfortunately voted for him, are exceedingly unhappy with where we are as a country and who we have in the Oval Office. In a crushing defeat, the Donald Trump agenda was sent packing. Democrats are outraged at the current state of our nation, and Republicans either are outraged too or are too demoralized by the unmitigated embarrassment that Donald Trump continues to be that they were too embarrassed to show their faces at the polls. Either way, stay engaged because 2018 is right around the corner. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you like what I do here and you appreciate it, go ahead and uh, click subscribe. And if you really like it and appreciate what I do and you'd like to, to join my Patreon family, there's another link there for that. It's not just for the podcast, <laughs> it's also for YouTube. Thanks a lot.